Hi, welcome back to Science Magic Platform. Today I am here with the third part of the lesson 1, class 6 CBSC, Food, Where Does It Come From? In the first video, first part of the video we have seen the ingredients, second part about the sources of food and third part we are going to see today that is food habits of animals. What are the food habits each animal follows to eat food? So based on this we have two terms here producers and consumers. Who are producers? Who are consumers? So producers means who is producing the food. So we all know there is a particular type of plants which can produce food by the process called photosynthesis. Those are called green plants. So green plants are named as producers. Who is dependent on producers are called consumers. So these are the two terms here based on the food habits of animals. In detail now we will see what are consumers, what is the classification given here. Based on this we have three groups herbivorous, carnivorous and omnivorous. So all these three are consumers which are dependent on these producers for food. So these names are derived from Latin words, from two Latin words here. Herbivorous means from herba and vorare, carnivorous, caro and vorare, omnivorous from omnis or omnia and vorare. So there are specific meanings for these Latin words. So we are calling by these names. So what is the meaning of vorare? Here this is vorare is common for all these names. Vorare means to eat. So here herba vorare means vegetation to eat. Caro vorare means meat or flesh to eat. Omnes or omnia vorare means everything to eat. So these, these are the three types of consumers. So herbivorous means these are plant eaters. That is herbivorous are eating only plants. So examples we can see cow, buffalo, deer, horse. All these are examples for herbivorous. Then these herbivores will be having special type of teeth for eating these producers called green plants. So they, they have cutting teeth at the front and grinding teeth at the back. This cutting teeth will be very sharp and the back teeth will be flat and widened. The, moving to the next one, carnivorous. Caro vorare. That means these are flesh or meat eaters. So these carnivores are eating herbivores. So herbivores are eating producers. Carnivores are eating herbivores. So here examples for carnivores are lion, tiger, eagle, wolf. All these are examples for carnivores. So here carni even carnivores are having special type of teeth for tearing the meat or flesh. So these are long, these are having long and pointed teeth for tearing the flesh. In case of eagle having uh, this side strong teeth for tearing the flesh. So this is the uh, this is the type of teeth present in carnivores. Then omnivores, these are either plant eaters or flesh eaters. So these omnivores are like vegetarian or non-vegetarian. We can remember like that. So these are things about 
consumers. So what are the examples given for omnivorous? Dog, human being, crow, bear, cockroaches. All these are coming under omnivorous means omnivorous can eat either plants or flesh or meat. So this is about consumers. Next moving to the next important topic feeding habits. Based on feeding habits we have three groups scavengers, decomposers and parasites. The first two are helping us to clean the environment by cleaning all the dead bodies of animals or dead remains of plants. So first one is scavenger. So scavengers are either carnivorous or omnivorous. So these scavengers are eating the dead remains of plants or animals. Examples are crow, vulture, hyena and jackal. All these are coming under scavengers. The second one is decomposers. Decomposing something. So these decomposers are degrading the dead remains of plants or animals with the help of the enzyme present in its body and breaking all the organic particles present in the dead remains of plants or animals. So this is also cleaning up the environment. Examples are bacteria and fungi. So this bacteria and fungi is having special types of enzymes for this decomposition process. Third one is parasites. Parasite is an organism which lives inside another organism and derives nutrition from that organism. That organism where this parasite lives that is called as host. So host is an organism from where the parasite is deriving the nutrition. So here examples are leeches, fleas, the worms like hookworm, tapeworm. All these are examples for parasites. So these are the three groups coming under feeding habits, scavengers, decompressors and parasites. Then based on this we have two activities given in your NCRT textbook activity number 6 animals and their food so here we have two columns first column is name of the animal the second column is food the animal eats so name of the animal we have two examples given here the buffalo and cat so buffalo is the name of the animal what are the food types the buffalo eats are given in the next column grass oil cake hay and grains. The second one is cat. It's eating small animals, birds and it's drinking milk also. So this is the this is able to identify the type of food each animal eats. The activity 7 we have to categorize the given animals into three groups by understanding what type of teeth it has, what type of food habit it follows. So we have three groups here. We have to categorize, depends on the definition given for these three types. Then the last topic we entered now, that is food chain. So a chain means something is connected. That is called as food chain. So here food chain we can see the interconnection between the organisms that is called as food chain. So each organism is dependent on another organism for food that is making a food chain. The network of food chain is called as food web. So I have given three types of food chain here. So we can observe many animals and find how is a food chain formed and connect all the animals and you can give examples for a food chain. So first food chain is producer. Always the first 
the first one in the food chain starts with a producer the green plant your grass the grass is eaten by grasshopper the grasshopper is taken by lizard the lizard is taken by eagle eagle is taken by eagle is consumed by fox or is the same chain in another way we can tell grass is taken by grasshopper grasshopper by frog frog by snake snake by eagle so like this the chain continues so this connection is called as food chain another example is given with water here this water plant it is taken by pond snail pond snail is eaten by a fish fish is consumed by eagle so these are the three examples you can remember for a food chain so by this uh, we are finishing this lesson hope you understood bye